St. Joe's original campus being located in downtown Jackson placed the school in a very unique category that was shared only by the much larger Central High School. As the state's largest city and the state capital, Jackson bustled with the activity of state government and a vibrant retail and commercial sector which surrounded the small school with big energy. St. Joseph School, from grammar school through high school, was located in a building right behind St. Peter's Cathedral. St. Joe downtown consisted of the brick building, which is where classrooms were, and um, uh, the offices. And then you had the gym by that, and then you had a parking lot. But over on the corner down there, you had the old gray castle, which evidently must have been a home years ago that somebody built this massive three-story home. And that was the Knights of Columbus Hall, we, we knew it as. And in that building, uh, was the, in the basement, was the cafeteria. And the cafeteria is where we had all our uh, noon meal. And you know we had classrooms on a couple of floors, but upstairs was the library. And um, that that you know that's where, that's where Sister Mary John used to be able to, you know, from her perch, she could sit there and watch everybody, you know, coming and going. But I just love that school, the charm, the character. Uh, and of course, around the gym there was a dirt ground, and at the very end of the dirt ground near Lamar and Mitt, uh, that corner. There were some stairways down to another building that sat by itself, a wood building that sat by itself out there, and there were some classes out there. My freshman year, and when I look back at all the years at St. Joe's, my favorite year because of that place. Maybe it's a little nostalgic with the building, brick, but it had wood floors, wood windows, no air conditioning, which it didn't seem to matter. I don't remember just being overly hot in there. The Spartan amenities of the St. Joe campus were more than compensated for by the excitement of downtown Jackson, and particularly Capitol Street. So uh, Capitol Street was very prominent up and down Capitol Street. Everybody had different ideas of what, what was there. There were a lot of shopping areas, five and dime stores, and, and of course the bus ran up and down there. The downtown area compared to St. Joe was very vibrant and there was a place called H.L. Greens was right across the street from St. Joe. And everybody walked through H.L. Greens every day and the people in there never really appreciated the fact that we trudged through and messed up their operations, but we did every day anyway. And, and I mean, Capitol Street was, was the place. I mean, I can remember my mother dragging me downtown many a day when I was a kid, you know, to go buy clothes and, and uh, you know, the crystal was up the street, had those great chocolate pies where you could get dime for a hamburger, three for 25 cents. You know what I mean? Oh, man, those were the days. <laughs> but as far as the theaters were concerned, there was one up towards uh, North State Street called the Majestic. Uh, and then downtown there was the Century and across the street from that uh, was the Paramount. And uh, every Saturday kids congregated and went to uh, different movies. We had the Greyhound bus station. You know, you go over and mess around a little bit, play some pinball machines and things like that. The Greyhound bus station was right across the street. In fact, it's still there today. It's obviously not a bus station any longer, but they had good pinball machines and they switched them out on a fairly regular basis. And I think St. Joe uh, helped to support the Greyhound bus station just playing those pinball machines. You know, after school, there are a lot of places to go. I mean, you know, the best was Tanner's because they had that fresh orange drink and fresh grapefruit drink. And back then, to practice football, we had to go over to St. Mary's because that's where our field was. We all had to get on the bus and ride over there. And when we got back, the first thing we wanted to do after shot and cleaned up was go, go across the street to Tanner's, get an orange or a grape or mix it, get orange and grape. And if you were hungry, they had those great foot-long chili dogs that were just, I mean, they were so good and uh, there was a place down on the corner. There was a Walgreens downstairs, and up above that, there was a place called 20th Century Recreation Hall, and it was known affectionately as the 2-0. And uh, you could go up to the 2-0 and play, and shoot pool or uh, play cards or whatever, and as I grew older, that became the place that I went because the people before me went there. You know, at lunchtime, a lot of people tried to run across, tried to run across the street and go to Walgreens and eat over there. 
But the old gray castle, which was a three-story or four-story building, the library was on the top floor. And a Sister Mary John would lean out the window with her pad and her pencil, and she would be watching and taking names <laughs> as people would run across and all. But yeah, you, know, you know, a bunch of kids were having fun. You know, it, it was good. But it, but it was unique, though, being downtown. There's no question about that. It really was. The temptations of the surrounding environment gave St. Joe's priests and nuns plenty to manage. Added to the mix was the in-your-lap presence of mighty Central High School. The proximity of St. Joe to Central was a fence that was about five feet on Central's side and five feet on St. Joe's side, and that's how close we were. And Central was multi-story, so they could get up in the windows up there and throw erasers at us. We had great nuns, mercy nuns that taught us, Sister Elise and Sister Aurelia and, of course, Sister Neary, but we also had priests. Priests would come over and teach a course, and usually that was religion, uh, and we would have uh, prayer every day in the school. Of course, I, uh, I got kicked out of Central several times. Uh, we'd go over there to uh, harass people in class, and they'd kick us out of class and tell us to go to the principal, and, and uh, so we'd go down to the principal's office, and the principal would say, who are you? Well, we're from St. Joe, but they, the teacher told us to come down here. Get out of here! In fact, one time one of the nuns said, Con, you know, we need to get some new erasers, harass those central kids and get them to throw erasers at us. And so we did, and they threw erasers at us. We had a full supply of erasers, so that's how, uh, that's how close the proximity was. But again, we knew all the central people, the central people knew us. 